All right, here's a quick video on how to play bar chords. All right, uh, first thing we need to know are our notes on um, our bass notes that are going to be on strings five and six. Now, there's a lot of different shapes for bar chords. I'm going to show you the two most common. So, open E, sixth string, right? But if I go first fret is F, third fret G, fifth fret A, seventh fret uh, B, then a half step. One fret to C, D is at the tenth, and then twelfth the guitar starts over at the twelfth fret. So I have an E, E F G A B C D E. On the fifth string, open is A, second fret is B, and then it becomes kind of symmetrical right here. Third fret is C, fourth fret, uh, fifth fret is D, fifth, seventh is E. Only a half step again to the eighth is an F. 10th is G, and then again it starts over at 12th fret for an A, okay? So a lot of times students will kind of, instead of, you know, you should woodshed it and learn all the notes from open to 12, but right here at 357, 357, you have G, A, B, and then fifth string, C, D, E, okay? Then you put an F at the eighth or a C there, so you can extend it there, but it's a good spot to start right in the um, 357. All right, so how bar chords work is you just take an open chord shape you already know, like an E shape, use different fingers so your first finger can bar, and then you slide that shape up the neck. So I'm gonna take this E shape that I know, I'm not gonna use my first finger, this, okay, major E, right there, and I'm gonna slide it up to the third, I put my first finger barring it across all six strings, my thumb is right behind my first finger to give it more strength. This is an E-shaped bar chord, and because my bass note is right here on the third fret G, this is a G chord. Okay, it's a G bar chord. Same as this G, okay? It's just voiced differently. If I slide up to the fifth fret, that's an A. B, half step, C. Okay, back to G. Now, I can make it a minor shape the same way that I make this E into a minor by lifting up my first finger, flattening the third is the music what we're doing. So here, I lift up this, uh, my second finger, and I can actually help the strength by putting it over top of my first finger to, to strengthen the bar to make sure that all six strings are ringing. That's a G minor, okay? Because it's a minor, E minor shape, and I'm barring at the third fret, bass note G. Okay, that's why we want to know our, our notes on string six and five. So that's an E and an E minor shape bar chord. On the fifth string, we're going to use A shape. Okay, so there's our A right there, different ways to voice A, okay? And I slide it, I'm going to start with a C here, so I'm going to bar uh, my third fret. My bass note is the fifth string. And then I... Uh, Okay, I had you saw me adjust, I had to pinch a little bit more to get the high E so it would ring out. There's my um, there's my A A shaped bar chord in this case because my bar my bass note is the C, it's the C major. Now I can make this a minor chord the same way we went from E to A minor. Instead of using an A shape, I'm gonna use an A minor shape. Okay, so and again I don't use my first finger and I bar and there's my there's a C minor. Okay. Now, a lot of people, the first ones they learn is actually a B minor because it's in the key of G, right? So there's a B minor. I just move back to the second fret. Okay, a minor shape. But because my fingers are a little bit bigger and it's hard on a steel string guitar to, to fit them all in here uh, when I make an A shape chord, I actually hyperextend my third finger and I play my A shape bar that way and I just don't uh, play the high E because it's technically not. Um, in a C major chord, okay? So that is a uh, review, E shape bar chord, side it up, okay? E minor shape bar chord, A shape, A shape, A shape bar chord, okay? And then I have a D and I have an E, F, So practice that bar chords are great. They're also great and nice. You can, one other thing, you can kind of pulse them. So as you're strumming, if I release the strength, once you have the strength and you're, you know, I can mute with my left hand. And it 
gives me a chance to get a little bit more rhythm going. Okay, awesome. Have fun with that.